Among the many factories in Great Britain, which for over a hundred years have specialized in engineering, those making locomotives are of outstanding importance. The engineers who work in the factories have spent a lifetime on the design and construction of railway engines destined for use in many lands, and their skill has accumulated from generation to generation. One such engineer is Ted Wilson, the production engineer of this factory. He's worked here for 30 years, starting as a young boy apprentice and making his way up through the works to emerge as the responsible engineer that he is today. Let's follow this engineer on his daily round and watch him at work. It's his responsibility to see that production throughout the works is running smoothly. Having worked in many of the shops at one time himself, there's little he doesn't know about any one particular process. His advice and opinion are frequently sought by less experienced men. Every locomotive made in this factory is designed and constructed for a specific job. It is the wide experience of the locomotive engineers who have had to adapt their skill to meet so many different problems that is the most valuable contribution to each particular design. The result of their work is to be seen on the rail tracks of many countries in the world. Today, Ted Wilson knows that a new locomotive will be ready for testing during the afternoon. This is a job which he always conducts personally, so that he can be satisfied that the finished product is perfect in every respect. But first, he must pay a visit to the design department, the drawing office, where every single detail of another new locomotive is being worked out with great accuracy. Off on his daily round, he calls next at the pattern shop, one of the most important departments in the whole works. Here are made the wooden patterns for the many intricate parts which have to be cast in metal. Skilled pattern makers and young apprentices work side by side to produce these patterns, each one individually designed for a specific type of locomotive. Ted Wilson knows this shop well. He once worked here himself. And he has a ready ear for some of the problems that must be overcome if production is not to be held up in the foundry. In the foundry, where many a young lad starts his practical training, castings are made from sand moulds. Castings of every shape and size are molded, some of them small, like this, and others requiring the skill and experience of older men, such as the giant cylinder blocks holding several tons of molten metal. The job of forging a length of metal into a perfectly shaped and balanced connecting rod is one that calls for great care. 
The forge man in charge of this team has been here for many years. He was forge man when Ted Wilson was apprenticed in forging many years ago. Ted readily acknowledges the forgeman's skill in this operation and he's content to keep a watchful eye on the output. His many years of experience enable him to judge the color of hot metal for correctness of temperature and to assess the working of the metallic structure. But Ted seems to be needed elsewhere. One of the blacksmiths appears to have a problem on his hands. Yes, that motion rod is slightly long and it'll have to be corrected under Ted's expert guidance. Not quite right yet and Ted tells the blacksmith exactly what's to be done. Shop, the great metal sheets are rolled into shape and riveted. Ted has served his time in here too, although in his day this shop was only half its present size. only been with the company a week but he goes to night school to learn the theory of engineering and he's determined to get to the top. Ted always keeps a fatherly eye on these lads. In his 30 years on the job he's become a good judge of character and knows when encouragement is most needed. In one part of the boiler shop, the specially shaped firebox and boiler plates are being pressed out of single sheets of steel plate. This red-hot plate is formed in the press into a seating for the steam dome. Before a boiler is passed out, ready to be lowered onto the main frame of the locomotive, it's subjected to both hydraulic and steam pressure tests so that any faults or weaknesses can be seen. Ted Wilson is often called in to supervise these tests, especially if the design is a new one.
Ted Wilson has known and lived with these locomotives since they first took shape on the drawing board. He has supervised every part of their manufacture, from the smallest screw to the largest single casting. To him, the locomotive is a living thing, with his own skill reflected in its efficiency. He carries all the correct measurements with him, and in a case like this, when a boiler is finally fitted to the frame of the locomotive, he can quickly check that the positioning is correct and that assembly can go ahead. Although we've only seen Ted Wilson at work on these particular engines, there are, of course, a variety of other types of locomotives being made in the works, and he's just as responsible for seeing that these two maintain the very high standard set by the company. From this works, too, have gone engines to India, Burma, Africa, indeed to every part of the world. In the wheel shop, every wheel, large and small, must be balanced and tested to perfection. They must be guaranteed a true running life over millions of miles, perhaps in some distant tropical country. These men are trained to work to the highest possible standards of accuracy. And Ted Wilson's check is usually only a confirmation of their original findings. This Indian student has been sent here for three years by his father in order to learn and take home with him some of the knowledge of locomotive construction which has been built up in this factory over the years. In the local technical college, Ted is much in demand for lectures. These he gives willingly and freely. After many years of study, he is himself a fully qualified member of the Institution of Mechanical Engineers. But he knows that learning can never be complete, and he frequently spends evenings at the college using the library of textbooks or testing some theory with modern scientific aids. The locomotive manufacturers themselves pay for their apprentices to attend this college. They know that good training will result in reliable engineers in the future. But now, one of the new steam locomotives ordered by the Persian government is ready for testing. And Ted Wilson is going to take his place on the footplate. His ears can often detect faults unaided by any mechanical means. feel of his hand on the throttle, he can tell if the engine is responding correctly.
For over 120 years, this factory has been turning out locomotives. And for the last six years, Ted Wilson has tested every one that has gone out, some 600 in all, and the same pride and careful attention has gone into each one of them. He is just one of many engineers at work in Britain. Engineers with a lifetime of knowledge, whose skill goes out to the corners of the world in the products of their experience. We have seen but one day in the life of Ted Wilson. Every day brings its new problems, both technical and human. Every day he's passing on his knowledge to others, no matter from which country they come. For the language of engineers is becoming universal. <laughs>